Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel and I have some exciting news for you today. So before we get started, follow me on Instagram, check out all the links below. I always have things linked. Um, also, I have some news. Here we go. I'm going to be on Adobe Live. I'm so excited to participate in Adobe Live. So it's going to be December 8th and December 9th, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern. 12 to 2 pacific time um so yes please join me over there i'm so excited we're going to be designing a project and it's just gonna be fun and hang out and chat and like just design live which is awesome um with adobe i'm just so excited with like so excited to have this opportunity um to be asked to be part of it it feels like incredible incredible step in my career so in preparation for this i was creating my behance profile the adobe behance i know that you guys probably have seen it you've probably gone on behance to look for inspiration it's the best for projects and just like seeing what other people are up to and i am always so intimidated when i go on there because it looks amazing but i recently just uploaded some work on there and i found it really easy and actually my work looked amazing and professional and i was like shocked that it looked up to the standards of other stuff that's on there <laughs> so i will be showing you today how to upload your work to behance best ways to do it best practices some ideas if you don't know how to do it um just in general because I want to share more ways to like upload our work to the internet and to portfolios and creating your own work and being in charge of your work so that's what i like to do so let's talk about how to put your work out there on behance and this video is not sponsored or anything i just thought i would announce what's going on with me next week and also some helpful tips for you guys Okay, so this is my Behance profile, behance.net, um, where you can upload your work. So I set up my profile and I've uploaded one project. So this is how the one project looks and I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I was really surprised that it looks so nice. So I put together some photos to upload separate photos and I'm going to show you a bit more about it. So this is the file that I set up. Uh, it has multiple artboards, um, but all of them have the width of 1400 pixels. So that is my advice. <laughs> Make it 1400 pixels wide, and then it really doesn't matter the size because it's just about fitting your work. So what I've done is create like different little collage type of things. So I can do like two posters or two images in one. Um, so this was kind of like the sa standard size I used. So this is what it would look like on the website and as you can see they have like little breaks between the images because they're separate with that white space and then the mock-ups I knew were already big enough so I uploaded those without making them like I knew that they would fit because they were bigger than 1400 pixels wide so if you were uploading a project like right here all you have to do is create a project and you can just start adding in images so i'm adding in thumbnail pictures as reference um some of my youtube thumbnails but these are not 1400 pixels wide so it is going to make some padding around it like in white it's going to be blank space behind it so i'm just showing you for reference how to just upload those photos but like I said, I knew that the mock-up pictures that I used in the skincare project were big enough that they were not going to require padding around it. So I knew that everything was just gonna end up being the same size, same width. So if you want to reorder a project, it's really easy once you just get all your images in to just drag them around and create the project how you want it. It's very simple to upload different images. So that's what it would look like. And again, with the padding around it. So if we're making a new one, just for reference, I'm going to make a 1400 pixel wide artboard, but it really doesn't matter the size in terms of length because we can change that depending on how many images we want to put on the artboard or if we want to make it like one big thing. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to make it one big picture that you can just scroll down through. Like as you could see with the other one, like when it was a bigger picture, you could scroll through it. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to bring in a bunch of different photos and just like start dragging them around. Um, so if you were to make it one image and then the next image, it would have that white border, but I'm trying to make it so that we can just have one background color and you can kind of scroll through and see multiple images. So I'm just creating and making it bigger and bigger. So again, this is just another style of doing it since I explained how to just upload images, you know, 
one and one and one kind of like that if you wanted to make like your own collage kind of look you could also do something like this So then I'm just putting a color behind it so that it would have a different color other than white when you were scrolling through. So uploading this, first we're gonna put some text just to introduce the project. And again, you can put text wherever you want in the collage of images, if you have multiple images or whatever you're uploading. So then bringing in this really big picture, it will kind of make it a seamless scrolling experience, if you know what I mean, Then rather than multiple photos. So here's what it looks like in the preview, and I think it looks really good when you actually do scroll on a one image type of thing. But again, with my other project, I did multiple photos, so I do like the white breakup of it, um, and that's why I did some collages, you know, like adding two things together. So that's what it looks like, and that's how you upload on Behance. Okay, so that was what I have for you today. I'm very excited to join Adobe next week on Adobe Live. So please go check it out and check out my Instagram. I have more info over there um, and we'll have the link and everything for when it goes live. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps my channel. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you just found me from Adobe Live, maybe after the fact, check, in, check me out, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye guys. I had to talk in between hammering because there's construction happening and oof, this was a whirlwind to film. <laughs>